On a gorgeous, balmy summer's evening like this, there's really nothing nicer than to be eating outdoors with your family and friends. And also cooking outside. I love cooking outside. I love barbecuing. So I'm going to be sharing with you my grilled chicken with lime, coriander and chili butter. And also a sirloin steak with horseradish and targan butter. I'm also going to be cooking some you know, baked potatoes and salad and all in the barbecue all outside, all on this beautiful summer's evening. How nice is it to be cooking outside? Oh, um, everything tastes better, everything smells better. Oh, yeah, very excited. So my barbecue is on. It's been on heating up for about a half an hour. I'm, I love a charcoal barbecue. That's my favorite way of grilling. Um, I've got my meats ready. It's important when you're cooking with your meats that you allow them time out of the fridge. That's the first tip that I can give you about whether you're grilling it and even if you're doing this inside in your kitchen. So I have, my beef has been out for about an hour. And what that does to the meat is, inside in the fridge, it's, it gets tense because it's cold. And then when it comes out onto room temperature, it all relaxes down. And so everything relaxes. And then when you cook it, you get a much more tender result from it. And so for my chicken, whenever I'm doing chicken fillets, I always get them with the supreme. So that means with the little wing legs on like this, right? And I always like to have the skin on there too. So you get a gorgeous, crispy chicken skin. I mean, who doesn't love that? And then for the butters that I'm going to serve with them, I've got gorgeous Kerrygold Irish butter. It's one of my favorite butters, grass-fed cows, outdoor reared, beautiful quality. I've got fresh targan. Oh, it's just beautiful. It reminds me always of Provence. But I'm going to mix with horseradish and then into the butter as well. That's going to be my butter for the sirloin. And then for the chicken, I want to kind of burst loads of flavour in there. I want citrus flavour in there and gorgeous herbaceous flavours in there too. So what I'm adding in is chilli to give that lovely hit of heat. I'm putting in coriander for that great aroma. And then I'm also going to add in lime for that beautiful citrus flavor in there too. You could also add in garlic in there too, or you could substitute the lemon instead of the lime if you prefer. But the first thing I want to do is actually get these on cooking. So when I'm while they're on cooking, then I'm going to make up my butters. So I've got my baked potatoes on. So they're washed, skins on. Always keep your skins on as much as possible with the potato, because you know, my dad used to always say that the flavor of the potato is always in the skins. It also protects the potato too as well. So then we've just rubbed it with a little bit of rapeseed oil, or you could use a bit of vegetable oil or canola oil. So the first meat that I'm gonna put in are my chicken supremes. And I mentioned earlier that I'm using chicken supremes because I like to have a little bit of the bone on it because it just adds more flavour to it. I also always like to have the skin on. So just a little bit of oil. I'm also going to put on some really good quality sea salt flakes. So on my chicken first, so skin side down. I'm putting it on the outer side just here. So the chicken I'm going to leave for about two or three minutes. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna allow them cook through completely. So I'm gonna put my sirloin steaks in completely natural with just a little bit of, so I'm putting the salted side right down, right into the center where's the hottest part. And then I'm gonna pop over here and my chicken, ooh, should be just about ready to turn, which it is. But you'll also know like when it's right to turn because it'll, it'll be an ease to turn it. When it's not ready to turn, you'll find there'll be a give. It'll still be holding on to the griddle. Because I have an abundance of fresh rosemary in there too, what I'm gonna do is actually pop this in here too, just for an extra bit of flavor. Oh, beautiful. So on the skin, that gorgeous charred crispy skin is what you're looking for. And then the flavor of the natural charcoal is just yum. So while my meats are cooking, I'm gonna make those beautiful flavored butters. 
I mean, this is real simple cooking that you do when you want to spend time outside. You've got beautiful meats, you've got your charcoal going, and so you really just want a very kind of natural flavors to enhance what you're doing. So I'm doing two flavored butters. One is for the beef, which is a fresh tarragon and horseradish. Now, horseradish isn't in season at the moment, but what I have is horseradish cream. So when it's not in season, just get a really good quality creamed horseradish. Um, and then my fresh tarragon. The fresh tarragon doesn't need to come off the stalks. The only part of the tarragon we'll say that isn't that nice is at the just at the very, very tip here. It becomes a little bit woody. But again, don't throw that out. That's for your broth pot. And then when you're ever prepping your soft herbs like this, which I've taught you in all of the videos that we've been doing, is you basically cradle it into a little bundle with your fingers. You use the larger part of the knife here, and then you should never be able to see your fingernails, all with just your knuckles, and then you just break it back. So I want this really nice and fine. So my two minutes are up. I'm gonna turn the sirloin. So at the moment I've got like those gorgeous aromas of the charcoal, and a little pinch of rosemary in there too. They're actually not gonna a lot more on the other side. I'm only going to leave them for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to leave them rest while I'm doing the butter and I'm going to let these rest for about 15 minutes while I finish preparing. To finish off my butter, I'm going to cream that with the horseradish and then loads of fresh tarragon on top, which we all know goes so well with beef. The horseradish will bring a lovely heat um, and a very kind of a soft, a, a soft heat actually to, to the beef and to the butter. And then the tarragon brings like a really fabulous fragrance. And it does make me feel like I am in France, you know, sitting outside in Provence, having my beautiful sirloin at that gorgeous tarragon flavor, which is a little bit aniseedy. The butter is salted, so I don't need to add any salt to this. So I've creamed together the fresh tarragon, the horseradish, with the lovely salted butter. Basically, it's like this. It's so easy to make, but we'll add such gorgeous flavor to it. So my next butter that I'm gonna do that will be going with the chicken, I'm gonna do chili, lovely fresh coriander, and if you're not a fan of coriander, because I know there are quite a few of you out there, you could use lovely flat leaf parsley or Italian parsley. So I'm serving my lime, chili and coriander butter with the chicken, but you'd be equally beautiful with a lovely meaty fish as well, that you, if you were gonna do that on the barbecue or on your grill. So again, just like we did the tarragon, finely chop your fresh coriander, And simple cooking like this is kind of like the ideal way you want to be doing it when you're cooking outdoors like this because you don't miss anything from outside. You're not stuck inside the kitchen while everybody outside having a nice time. So, you know, make it simple. Use fresh herbs, use chili, use, you know, very few ingredients and make them really good quality with gorgeous flavors. So first I'm just going to get all my coriander mixed into the butter. Creamy it down using the back of your spoon. And then my lime, I'm actually going to use the juice of the lime and also the zest of the lime too. Whenever you're using any citrus fruit, whether it's lemon or lime or orange, always use the zest as well. There's so much more flavor in the zest than actually even in the juice. When you're zesting your fruits, you don't want to go into the pith of it, so you just want to glaze that lovely coloured skin on the top, but don't go into the pit. The minute you start going into the pit, you'll start getting a bitterness, and that will take away from that gorgeous citrus flavour of the, the zest. And next, I'm just going to put in a little bit of juice. I've, I'm going to juice half of it, and then the other half, I'm going to keep for actually serving with my chicken. And then next is the chilli. Just bite a little bit of the end of it to see the heat of it. And that way then you can decide what's the rector scale going to be on your chili. And because this is very light, I mean it's, it's warm but it's certainly not hot, I'm going to keep that white pith in there. So just dice it up nice and finely. 
If you're using a tiger chili or a chili that's very hot, I probably would remove the, um, the pith of it inside. The colors of this butter are just fantastic. Yeah, that smells like summer. A spicy one. Ooh, <laughs> that's what we like to see when we pop open our barbecue. Look, look at the crisp on that skin. I mean, that is quite magical. Looks like a duck confit, to be honest. Wow. Just to test to make sure that your chicken is cooked, I just pierce a very sharp knife in, and then you push it, push the skin down beside it. And if the juices run completely clear, your chicken is cooked. So these have been resting for a half an hour since they've come out of the barbecue with the grill. Um, the smells of the charcoal are just fabulous. So that beautiful fat that's edging around. I'm going to thinly slice. Place your hand on the steak to give it pressure. It will allow you actually get a much better slice. So I've really thinly sliced um, the sirloin. I've put fresh rosemary underneath it just to give it you know, more aroma in there as well, but also to catch on those meat juices that might come through. There shouldn't be many though, because I have left it rest. And then onto the top of it, I'm gonna put this beautiful horseradish and targan butter. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt. And then you have this wonderful sharing platter, you know, for everybody to get talking into. Starting with me. The crispiness of the fat. It's so juicy because when you when you cook something with that intense heat and beautiful charcoal from it, it locks in all the juiciness in the inside of the meat. So it's juicy, gorgeous flavors of charcoal. And then the butter. So before I let these sit and soak up all the gorgeous flavors of the butter. Can we just stop for a second and look at how crispy the skin is? Oh my God. Mm. So what I'm going to do is take a little spoon of that fresh coriander chili and lime butter and do three small dollops, and then I'm gonna pop these gorgeous crispy chicken. So what's gonna happen is they're basically gonna have a little bath in this beautiful flavored butter. And put some limes here to get that lovely citrus flavor. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that chili coriander and lime butter on top of the chicken so that it can begin melting into the skin while it's resting. And those coriander leaves are gorgeous. So I'm just gonna pop them around here, which will be lovely eaten with the chicken as well. You're probably thinking, what am I gonna do with all this lovely leftover flavored butter? I'm gonna use it for my baked potatoes that I put in earlier before we even put on the beef or the chicken. And look at this lovely crispy skin. So I know these potatoes are going to be fluffy and floury like the way they should be because their skin on it is just crackling and it's acted like this great kind of protection around it, keeping it all really light and fluffy. And those flavours from the charcoal in the potato are going to be so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a cross in them and then using a cloth because they're very hot, I'm just going to squeeze them down to the bottom and pinch them slightly inwards just to loosen it all up and open them up like so so you actually can spoon into it. So my gorgeous flavoured butters that I've got left over from the chicken and the sirloin. So this one is the tarragon horseradish, the Kerrygold Irish salted butter. I'm going to put those on two and then on the other two I'm gonna push the chili, coriander, fresh lime, and that Kerrygold salted butter in on the other two. And they're just gonna melt away into those beautiful, crisp, floury baked potatoes. 
Look how amazing these look and the smells, I promise you, they're so good. And now for the full recipe, you can see it via the link um, just below and don't forget to click to subscribe. I'm off to the garden, I've got my friends coming. Food is ready, wine is chilling. Have a great evening. They went down so well. I've got some gorgeous ripe peaches and beautiful corn on the cob. So tune in next week to see how I'm gonna cook them on the barbecue.